So today we're going to talk about being eco-friendly. And we can agree that regardless of your beliefs around the environment, most forms of being eco-friendly can be beneficial for the environment and your pocketbook. Now, there are some things that I'd like to clear out in the beginning. There are three types of being eco-friendly. There's minimalism, there's reusing, and then there's recycling. Minimalism means you don't use that much. Everything you have has a spiritual or functional purpose. If it doesn't do anything, then it must have some spiritual thing that makes you happy. If it's not one of those, you don't have it. Recycling is very simple. It's when we take something and we reuse it or recombine it with something else like an art and craft, and that makes it into a kind of new tchotchke. Now we have the other kind, which is just reusing. We take something and we'll reuse it in either another slightly different purpose or the same purpose. So the best comparison here would be buying something like a coffee tin and using it for plants. There are some decent benefits to each one, but I'd argue that there are different ways to approach shaving and grooming, as well as makeup with these approaches. Minimalism is by far the most economical to only buy the few articles of cleaning that you will require or the few articles of makeup. And those work, but I'd argue that the best would probably be to either do recycling or reusing which in this case are one and the same. Now, recycling and reusing in the world of grooming and makeup would mean to buy the nicer items to be conservative about, conservative about using them, as in we try to use them less, and to be a lot more relaxed with them, to also be reusing their containers and to try and not throw them away. So the best things to do here is, for example, when we would shave, we would not buy shaving gel, in which case a shaving gel can can be recycled, it cannot be reused. So there's a tremendous amount of energy being wasted. But if we were to get something like a plastic or metal tin with a shaving cake in it, we could put in tchotchkes and such in there. If we like to make our own soap, we can make that. And if we do wish to do something different, then we have materials that we can easily mold. Now in the world of makeup, I'm not sure if the same can apply, but I am very sure that in the situation where you were to have something like a tin container, you could easily reuse it. And if you are conservative about using your makeup, you could also find ways to use it. And I do recommend being environmentally friendly from the beginning because most forms of fashion and most forms of grooming and appearance are usually treated as expendable in the modern era. And this is a very destructive and expensive way to treat fashion and appearance. And as a person who prides themselves on their appearance and as a person who definitely cares about not wasting things, uh, it appalls me, and I, it appalls everyone I've known to actually be so wasteful as to throw away dresses after using them once, or throwing away your grooming items simply because you feel that they are broken. And if the situation comes to that where you feel you can't fix it, uh, there are definitely loads of companies that can fix it, and there are ways you can have them recycled and reused without your direct labor. And I strongly urge you to recycle and reuse.